Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Astroneer. Hopefully you guys are having a good one today. My day is going great. We are, uh, really, right now, I was just kind of messing around with a few different things. Uh, I made a few things off camera. Uh, I have upgraded a good portion of our power. And I also made this medium battery. So whenever uh, we need power at night, we can do that. But I've also added in three medium wind turbines there one medium wind turbine there and then there is another oh wait i thought i added a medium turbine to that one but i don't think i did because it's not there um does any of these still have the things that are required i also made the alignment mod and this thing was pretty cool um basically what it allows you to do is um no matter what you can, um, well, hold on, what, 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 don't be weird, why is it not letting me do it, okay, now it's letting me do it, um, but basically, you can flatten anything, and it doesn't, like, act weird at all, um, as far as, like, the levels go, and let me dig that down a little bit, and so, like, I don't know, like, in some places, whenever you dig down, or whenever you try to level something, if it's too tall or, or too high or anything, it will kind of prevent you from doing so. And this alignment tool doesn't have that kind of limitation, I guess, uh, is what you would call it. Give me the power, uh, which I think is pretty cool. It is, it's a little... Um, I, I don't know what it is. I, I just, I think it's pretty neat. I thought it was, it was pretty useful, uh, especially for leveling out the whole base area. But uh, for a good portion of my time, I've been spending it down here in this cave system. And I'll kind of take you guys down here with me as we glide and slide into the depths. And then we'll jump down into this hole right here. Bah! There we go. And now we're hooked back up and we'll run this way a bit. Uh, let's go this way a little ways. Oh. Oh, hey, get out of here with that. No, no, no. Get out of here. Alright, so we need to take these guys out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Run away. Uh, that's a big hole in the ground. Okay. Dissipate. Dissipate. You can't get me. Alright. Let's keep going. Uh, I could take out that last one. Yes. Okay. Was there any... Oh, no. Sometimes, like, when you take those things out, you get research underneath them. And it's usually what I go for when trying to, to take them out. But it does not appear to be the case this time. So let's go ahead and uh, start making some links back here. So that we can kind of see what we're adventuring onward to. Uh, and just the end of a cave, basically. Okay. Oh, we linked up to something else over there, too. That's cool. Um, plenty of power through here. I could see that much. Uh, but as far as anything else is concerned, there's not a whole lot. Um, something in my eye. Something in my eye, you twinkle little sky. Uh, all right, so we'll continue. Okay. Would love to get over there to that, but I think I'm going to go this way first. Just like so. Will you reap benefits? Such as things that we require. No, you won't. Okay. Okay. Uh, I heard another Duma Flitchy that wants to kill us. I don't have any more uh, tethers. So I'm not going to bother with them just yet. Let's... Ah, watch it. Be careful. It'll try and kill you if you are not careful. Nope, dig it up, dig it up, dig it all up. Okay, there's two of them there. Run back, run back, run back. Give me the oxygen. 
Okay, so now we've got two research biddies. Well, there's a one right there too. So we've got actually quite a few. Oh wow. There's four of them like right here. So we got this one here, this one here. I think I'm gonna take this one up with me first. And then we'll probably come back for those two. I've still got the two research stations going and uh, with as much power as they have now, they um, continue to go fairly quick. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and run these up to the surface and uh, kind of see what else we can get into. There goes the sandstorm. I had to go and collect some compound. So I went and took the, uh, the rover out for a little dig and we got a good amount of compound. So I've got some more tethers now, which is good. Uh, let's come over here to our smelter. I picked up a little bit of aluminum as well. Is that thing just gonna burn through all of our energy? Or is it just gonna, yeah, just gonna work slower basically. Okay, well, we've got some more aluminum now, which is good. Um, okay, so what I wanna look at next is I'm kind of digging the trade platform is one of the things that I want, but a fuel condenser or a hydrazine catalyzer. I think I'm going to take the hydrazine catalyzer because I don't really know what hydrazine catalyzer is. Uh, so I think it would be good for us to go ahead and uh, try out. So I think we're going to go ahead and throw it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it. Ah, no. Wow. Ooh, fell deep into that hole. All right, let's, uh, let's try and get back out of here. Uh, hello. Can I be free? Can I have my freedom? Can I escape from your grasp? I can. Yay. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put that away. And then I'll grab some resin. Because we will need a smidgen of resin. Uh, where is my resin? There's a piece right there. And then there's two pieces right there. Uh, that uh, research just wrapped up. I'm gonna bring this one over here to put on. And let's see how much this is going to have. Ooh, yeah, about a 1280. So that's not bad. Uh, we're about at 1280, so it's looking good. And then, like I said, we're gonna actually put this next one right up here. So just like so. And then we've got both of our resins. And now we need the hydrazine catalyzer. We need two copper, uh, which I just happen to have right here. And then let's go ahead and make it. Hydrazine catalyzer. A ding! That sounded like a microwave up in there. All right, so we got a bunch of hydrazine or ammonium. Uh, actually, let's put the titanium away. Let me put one of my tethers up there. Hold on to my alignment. Uh, I got a bunch of ammonium. Is that, is that all of the ammonium that I have around currently? I know there's like a bunch of ammonium in the area that I just haven't really bothered with getting. So now we do that. I gotta put canisters up there. Canisters. So we need more canisters. What uh, canisters are made with resin? I'm going to need three more resin. So give me these two. Uh, is that all the resin that we have around? Nope. We got some more right here. Okay. So one. Two. Three. Okay, and there's the fourth one. Um, whoa. <laughs> Microwave. Uh, so we get hydrazine. Hydrazine is fuel. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's probably going to be for like a, a rocket ship or something come come later on. 
Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I can dig it. Uh, let's see. We're up to. We're still up to uh, two thousand bytes. So we can do a fuel condenser next. Uh, we could do a trade platform. Uh, I already did the big battery. There's a small battery, a small oxygen tank, and a filter. Um, and then we're, we're starting to get into some of the shuttle stuff. So that's kind of what I'm ex uh, just guessing. There's a habitat, um, an enclosed seat, a winch. Winch might not be bad just to have for our rover. We got the narrow mod, the wide mod. I really, you know what? We're going to save for the large storage because I think that will be relatively useful. So while this stuff is working up here, why don't we go down back into the pit, into the endless pit of despair? And uh, we'll, we'll, do some, we'll run some more lines and such. Maybe she's just going to jump down right here. It kind of hurt, but not too much. And just dilly-dally on our way this way. Oh, wait. No, that was the dead end. I've done that like six times now. I, I need to like come up with a system that, hey, this is... Oh, no, no, no. That was a giant pit of despair. Get out of there. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and flatten this out a little ways. Should have brought my alignment mod down here. Because that would help with the keeping of one particular level. But we'll just flatten this out so that way we don't have to worry about falling in it anymore. All right. So we could continue that way, but I think we're going to continue this way because we have been working this way uh, for a good little while now. So we're, we'll continue off this direction. There we go. And then right up here is where all of our uh, research or past research nodes were found. It was right in this area. There's some copper. Uh, there's some ammonium. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, there's a ton of spots for fuel. There's some copper ore. Is there anything over there? I think we should go and check it out. Uh, actually, connect, please. Uh, some more of those deals. I was able to get them. Some more over that way. There is so much badness down here. Uh, there is a little research piece down there that we can go ahead and we'll bring up here kind of... Uh, we'll, we'll take it over this way just a little bit to where we can kind of see it when we leave. Yeah, just kind of drop it down in that hole. Don't fall through the world. Okay, we got a bunch of copper good connection some aluminum man this is like resource heaven down here it's kind of surprising actually that there are so many resources yeah nothing under that this looks like it might end up being just another blank cave I mean, it's a big cave. I know that much. Yeah, here. It stops right there. Good. If we ever need, like, an abundance of power, this is definitely what we're going to have to try and get. All right, we're closing in on the 3,200 bytes for large storage. Let's go ahead and learn it. Very good. And then I'm assuming large storage is going to either be built here or in the vehicle bay. Yeah, I think it's going to be over here on the vehicle bay. Crane, large storage. So we're going to need eight compound, uh, which we can do. So let me go ahead and grab some more compound. Eh, eh, get up there. There we go. Uh, and we'll grab as much as you can. Uh, you guys actually helped me out. You let me know that if you shift click these things, you can actually 
uh, just put them right in your backpack if they're shift clicked. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, there's our hydrazine thingamadoodler. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do two on that side, two on that side, and build. Very nice, very nice indeed. And we have just, well, not yet, but pretty closely increased the amount of storage by quite a bit. Uh, yeah, let's do another large storage. Right like there. All right, now the thing is packed with storage. I'll say that much. Uh, and then I'm assuming now that that's full, it can't get any more storage uh, as much as we would like it to. But what we can do is we can kind of like finagle these these rides here a little bit. So let me go ahead and pull those off. Let me put the solar panel there. Ooh, uh, nope. Uh, did not mean to grab that. I meant to grab the seat. So we'll grab this. And we're going to drive over here to the other rig. Wow, these things get going quick. All right. And now we could connect these like so. And we can't move the crane, but we can go ahead and put our lighting there or our uh, our power situation there. And then the other one, whenever we connect it up so we can have power on it. We can do some storage on it, some straight up, just normal medium storage. We can pull this turbine off and do a turbine on that side. Get ourselves two, two more medium storage. I think three more medium storage and I'll feel pretty happy about that. So let me see, what are we gonna need for three more medium storage? Medium storage is gonna be more compound. We can go grab a little bit more of that. Uh, I need six in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll get three more of this and our ride is gonna start looking really good. All right, that's what the Rover currently looks like. We've got, uh, how much main storage do we have? Uh, I think I left, did I leave? No, I didn't leave anything over here. What? Where did I put? I had another storage component over here somewhere. Oh, is it? Did it fall over here? Yeah, we just had a storm come through, so everything kind of got blown around. But, so I have uh, quite a few. We've got, um, oh yeah, quite a few different spots to kind of store stuff. Uh, we've got, I think I'm gonna put one more of these storage racks on here. Like that, so we've got six of those, and then I have a total of seven other spots to put research that we find, uh, which is what I'm gonna look forward to. And then otherwise, yeah, I think that's pretty much empty. Uh, we'll be able to go out into the world and like try and um, get, oh no, I didn't wanna get in there. Uh, get, uh, I said I didn't wanna get in there. Stop it, okay, good. Uh, put the lithium over there, put the titanium over there, a resin over there. Uh, otherwise, we're all good with that. And I think we're looking fairly good. I think next episode, we might try and do a long range adventure. Uh, just because I think we have uh, plenty of power, uh, which I think is going to be good. Uh, we have, well, kind of debating whether or not I want to bring the big battery or not, but I don't think that I'm going to, honestly. I think I'll leave the big battery here. Probably go down, look for some more research because uh, we only have 605 left and I think next episode we are going to try for the trade platform. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. It's been a ton of fun and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.